It took ChatGPT literally five seconds to write that introduction to Mr. Data. This has some ramifications. First of all, research papers, essays, and even Toastmasters talks get way easier to write because they're, they're, ChatGPT just generates them for you. And in fact, it's so easy to do this that the New York City schools have banned ChatGPT from the classroom, which I actually think is a mistake because the tool is now there. It's freely available. Kids, ne kids need to learn how to use it and how to use it well. Um, but this artificial intelligence is amazing. It can write blogs, it can write letters, it can write articles, books, mobile app code for games and websites, music, scripts, diet plans, workout plans, answer complex. It can, go, the list goes on and on. And hey, guess what? It's free to use. And it's fun. It's like a Google that you can converse with. It takes you right to the answer to your question without going through all of the Google um, multiple, multiple, multiple hits. And you can ask chat GPT clarifying questions and get responses to those questions and drill down. And this is only version one. This is just going to get scarier and better with time. Right now, ChatGPT is text-based, but OpenAI, which owns ChatGPT, um, also owns an image generator. That image generator is perfectly capable of interacting with ChatGPT to generate smart images. And once that image generator and ChatGPT uh, get together, there's nothing to stop it from, from uh, generating videos, which leads to deep fakes. So what's a deep fake? Well, everybody knows. Well, I don't know if everybody knows. I had to, I had to look it up. Um, a deep fake is a type of synthetic media in which a person's face is superimposed onto another person's body, making that first person, the one with the face, appear to do thing, appear to say and do things that they did not actually say or do. Think of the ramifications of that. You know, I can take Donald Trump and turn him into a flaming liberal with this.